Cold weather is also impacting electric vehicles. The popularity of the cars paired with drivers depending on charging stations created the perfect storm today, leaving many without their vehicles. NBC 5's Charlie Wojciechowski reports. We're not here for three hours. For Rob Ross, the fancy Mach-E electric vehicle he's trying out has not been worth the trouble it's cost. I had the tow truck to bring me here this morning. I was at five people in front of me. Side here, my, my vehicle was like almost on empty, uh, no charge. We got people sitting in line right now who actually, they're charged, the EV is actually disabled because they can't even make it pull up to the uh, pull up to the machine. And the charging stations at this Evergreen Park public charging port are full, so full, that some EVs ran out of juice before they could get to the machines. It's terrible. It's like I could be out there, be driving and everything in the cold, but instead I gotta wait. And it's a waiting game, it's a waiting game, it's a waiting game, and it's terrible. Gary and Rob are learning a hard lesson about EVs in the extreme cold. They just don't go as far as they usually do. Absolutely. Uh, you know, and EVs that I've driven, I've seen anywhere from a 10% to a 30% drop, you know, depending on how cold it is. And the colder it gets, the worse that that drop is. Patrick Olson tests EVs and other cars as the editor-in-chief at Carfax.com. Even when I test them, you know, week in and week out, I have to think ahead about how far am I going to go um, and how much do I want to risk it. Making matters worse, EVs take longer to charge the colder it is outside. You have to come up here, wait two hours to get on the charger. They tell you the charges are fast. It takes two hours to charge your car. So here in this Evergreen Park parking lot with temperatures in the single digits, there are dozens of EVs sitting in the cold waiting for a chance to be charged. Bob Ross is reconsidering the idea of owning one. My conclusion is, uh, as far as the drive and everything, it's real nice, but not Chicago. Not Chicago. I couldn't do it. In Evergreen Park, Charlie Fortune Husky, NBC5 News. Mm -hmm.